And think of the footprints. <laughs> if you are, if you are um, on the scene of a crime and you left behind these, I think you'd be pretty easy to find. Um, so yeah, you gotta watch out for that if you're intending to use these for otherwise terrible pursuit. Right, welcome back. We are coming to you from lockdown, so excuse the extremely dead haircut. I've been my own barber for a few weeks, as I know most of you have. One of the reasons I started this channel is because I was really interested in the way that trainers were grailed and treated as incredible, incredible objects, but clothing, on the other hand, was um, regarded less as like many pieces of architecture and more of like consumable items. So we're going to continue talking about apparel, but today we're going to talk about these bad boys that I managed to get hold of. What I'm really excited about is when products are designed with meaning or purpose. And this trainer is based on some New Balance 70s silhouettes. Now, going back into your archive, looking at what are the really exciting shapes, what are the really exciting elements that can make up an entirely new and modern feeling trainer. Um, really gives this trainer some purpose and some history um, and actually belongs to something that's born out of some meaning um, which has created or made for a really exciting foot piece of footwear. I was actually trying to get hold of these for a few weeks. These are the New Balance 327s. Um, they come in three colorways. Uh, this is my favorite. Given I'm interested about purpose, these are right on my street. The story behind them is something that is born out of a reason, they've been designed with a reason, they've been created with a reason. Um, and I think you can really tell that when you see that it's, that reason is baked into the product. It's really obvious in the final outcome of the design. Wow, it's like shaking those, like shake the life out of them. Like, I'm really excited about this. Oh dear. This is made up of a combination of um, a few New Balance Heritage silhouettes. There's a 320, which I'm going to show you on the screen now, and the 355. Um, the midsole is based on the 320. You can see the shape that comes through the center there. And then this studded sole is based on the trail running inspiration for the 355, um, which runs all the way across the bottom and then all the way up the back, which gives it this really iconic looking squared off shape. I think they fit pretty true to size, really comfortable. I take a 10, I'm wearing a 10. And even like my feet are a size 10, which is like normally considered quite a big shoe size. These just don't look that big. You know how we, if you've got big feet like mine and you wear a pair of Converse's, you look like an absolute clown, especially the high top ones, because the lace structure down the front just goes on forever. Whereas these have got a really nice balance proportions. They don't make your feet look massive, even with this more adventurous sole that's inspired by that trail scene on the back. Um, yeah, these are really well proportioned and really nice. You want to wear these with something that lets the footwear do the talking. It's going to be getting enough attention when they're on the feet. So I would keep it simple with a crew sweat, some semi wide leg bottoms, decent pair of socks, and then these on. I will wear them on a night out because obviously the suede's going to get damaged from all those drinks getting dropped on your feet or people stepping on your toes, which we, I know these footwear heads are not about. You don't really want to get suede wet in the rain. So wearing these when you know it's going to be dry or if you're only out of the house for a few hours. Um, that would be my kind of recommendation for these. Um, I hope you enjoyed my first trainer video. Let me know if you want to see more of these. If you do want to see more of them, please say if there's any particular trainers you want me to cover in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I've had some great comments on some of these vids so far. Please don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're on YouTube. That way you'll know when I put out a new vid, whether it be about trainers, whether it be about clothing. It's all going to be about things designed with purpose.